So the first thing we're going to do is we're, I'm going to show you how the rules of Nyman's Morris actually work. Uh, Nyman Morris is kind of a combination of checkers and tic-tac-toe. Um, so players are going to take turns placing the uh, pieces we have on the board here one at a time. And the goal of the game is to make a row of three. Every time you make a row of three, you get to take one of your pe uh, opponent's pieces off the board. And the game ends either when uh, either player is down to two pieces, because it's simple math, you can't make a row of three with two pieces, or you can't make a legal move. So uh, there's effectively two phases, uh, phases to the game. First is placing the pieces. Um, and in terms of who goes first, um, there's a variety of different ways we can do this. Um, uh, I, I come from a family of two. I always tended to go with the oldest goes first, which always happened to be me. <laughs> and I happen to have the black pieces. So we'll start with these first. So the idea is you place these on the board one at a time. And what you're trying to do is to make a row of three. And I get to play these white as well. And then there's also a bit of strategy because I made a row of three now, so my opponent would of course want to block me. Right. Okay. And then we'll continue on. And I'm gonna to want to do the same. Okay. But just to show you what happens if they make a row of three. Now they get to take a piece off. The only f rule that you have to keep in mind is if they'd already, you can't take a, a piece out of an existing row of three if they happen to have one on the board. So in this case, they could take, they probably wouldn't want to take this one off because on my turn, I'd place a piece here and then I get to make a row of three. We always tend to set the pieces that have come off the board off to one side, uh, especially during this phase because you don't want to get the pieces confused with the parts, with the pieces you haven't put on the board yet. All right, we'll just kind of continue on. We'll just kind of run through this really quick just so you can kind of see how when we get to the next bit. Um, when I put one on, that comes off. Okay. Now, once everyone's placed all of their pieces, uh, the next portion of the game is to move the pieces around. All right. So one thing you notice that there's a series of lines that connect the dots on the board. So the way in which you move the pieces, you have to move. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to move this piece, I, I can move it to the two adjacent dots on the, on the board. So we, this one can either go here or here. And what you're trying to do is to move the pieces around so that you can make another row of three. Uh, so for example, let's say we start with, um, so let's say uh, it's White's turn, so they would move. Um, except if they move, then because they're trying to get to here, then I get to make a row of three, and I'll take that one off, mm -hmm. all right? All right. This one here, move that there. They could take a piece off. So effectively, you continue playing that. You move, moving the pieces around, trying to make rows of three until uh, either myself or my opponent manages to get um, the other player down to two pieces. One thing I'll mention as well: it is legal to do something like this. So let's say it was my turn. I can move my piece out, my opponent takes their turn, and then I move that back. That's considered poor sportsmanship. <laughs> we really, uh, for, for someone who plays nine men more is particularly well, we want you to move to be a bit creative as to how you move the pieces around to make new rows of three. Right. So you can just move one piece back and forth, but uh, we really discourage that, all right. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make your own board. Um, we'll talk a little bit about both the uh, how to make the board and where else you can find uh, pieces for playing the game.